Heroes often show their true colors through creative expressions. Their unique expressions of talent truly set them apart. Sophie Sellers' talent is expressed not only in her many creative activities, but also in her wonderfully unique artwork. The first time that I ever met Sophie was in the theater class that I teach here at the Norfolk Senior Center. And it was about our fourth class and Sophie walked up to the door, swung it open, and she was dressed from head to toe as uh, Minnie Pearl, with a little tag hanging from her hat and everything. She walks in and she goes, howdy, name's Minnie Pearl. <laughs> the whole class broke out laughing and applauding, and I just thought to myself, I want her in this class. <laughs> My mother grew up in, uh, she was born in Florida, and she grew up on the road with a traveling medicine show, and this was her family and she acted on the stage at that time too and learned to play the guitar and she taught my two sisters how to play and we all used to sing together which was a lot of fun and um, she's just uh, always been into something and then when she had to go to work at the shipyard to be, and she learned to be a welder and then that's when she started doing her uh, artwork. After I found out I could make things well I just I got my own torch and stuff at home and started making things and I've been doing that ever since. There was a a wagon, 81 Oldsmobile wagon, and I had to get the muffler replaced to pass inspection. So I took the old muffler and I made the muffler lady. And uh, to do that, I took a couple of pipes and made the legs. And I put some nuts on the front of the muffler for her buttons. The head is made of a brass bowl and I turned the bowl upside down and put eyes on her. Her hair is all twisted up with spark plugs as curlers, and uh, she's playing the banjo. So, of course, she's a self-portrait. <laughs> she's just like nonstop with everything she does with her artwork and the theater and the, all the instruments she plays. And she plays in an orchestra, the Rooftop Garden Orchestra. And every single week, Sophie raises her hand and she goes, well, I just wanted to let everybody know I'm going to be performing at such and such a place. And, you know, I mean, it's something every week. She's doing something all the time. I do sing-alongs with my guitar and banjo. And I've played with the uh, Dixieland groups, walking up and down, playing Dixieland music. It was fun. Well, she has a major influence on me. Uh, there's a lot of things that I wouldn't do if, uh, you know, I didn't have her influence. I've gotten into acting a little bit myself. She's just made me more, uh, I guess, assertive and... Uh, and confident. She's somebody that um, that I think anyone could look up to. She's definitely a role model for her peers, for all seniors. But she's a, I, I'm inspired by her. You know, when I see her energy, she's got me involved in different things like art and you know organizations and stuff like that that I've joined because she's talked me into it. And she's just such a go-getter. I think she is a, a role model for anybody of any age.